Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this awesome song called Bring Me To Life, also known as Wake Me Up Inside, that one, okay? So it's really awesome, we will be teaching you two sections of this song. The first section is the awesome instrumental that plays for the intro and also for all the verses. It's pretty awesome piano instrumental that goes like this. Give you a preview, this is what you're going to learn. Repeat. Etc. Okay, so that's the first section you'll learn. Really awesome. And then the uh, second section is the awesome chorus section. The wake me up inside, wake me up inside, save me. That part. Okay, so it goes like this. I'll give you a preview. So it goes like this. section uh, it's actually a, a particular right hand pattern and a left hand pattern so it's kind of like um, the separate hands going together with separate notes and then for the second section it's more like the melody and chords okay where you're more free to do whatever you want okay so here we go so the intro note by note goes like this okay so right hand goes like this we're gonna break it up to two parts so it's easier to learn the first part goes like this right hand starts on the E here middle C is here for reference we'll go up an octave to this C go up to the E right next to it okay so it goes E up to B, A, B, C, up to the high E, down to B. And that is the first part for the right hand. Pretty simple stuff for this first section, first part. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes E up to B, A, B, C, up to the high E, down to B. And that's the right hand for the first part, okay? So once you get the right hand for the first part, left hand, we have a pretty simple pattern going on here. We start on the... Uh, E right next to middle C. So we play that E next to middle C and then up to the B and then up to the higher E and alternate between the B and E right there. So B, E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B, E, and that's it. Okay, so I'll tell you exactly how many times it does that. So yeah, it's easier to count it this way. So it goes, okay, so the lower E and then don't count this B yet. So B and then it goes E, B for one, two, three, four, five, six and a half times, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and finish up an extra E at the top, like that, okay? So yeah, you can count it like that, or you can do it like this, you can count the lower E, and then do E, B for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So don't do the six and a half times, just do it with the lower E, and then the B, E for seven times so one two three four five six seven okay so this is the easier way to count it, i guess so here we go so lower e and then plus the b e for seven times one two three four five six seven okay so yeah that's the amount of notes that you need to remember for this first part for the left hand it will be a lot easier if we remember that way okay so two hands together goes like this right hand starts with the e and then together 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 yeah, and that is the first part. Okay, let's do it again a bit slower. So, like that. Okay, when it's faster, it goes like this. There's some syncopation going on, so it can be a little bit difficult, okay? So... Like that. Okay, and then moving on to the second part. The second part is, uh, the right hand is exactly the same thing. So once again, it goes E, B, A, B, C, up to the high E, down to B. Okay, so exact same right hand for the second part as compared to the first part. So that's something for you to take note of, so you remember. However, the left hand changes. Okay, so it's exactly the same thing, but instead of the B, every single time we play the C. Okay, so exactly the same thing. So it goes lower E, and then this time followed by C, E, 
four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? So remember that. So E plus the C E for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and that's it. Really easy because uh, it's the same exact same pattern, same rhythmic um, pattern and also placement. Just substitute all the B's to C's compared to the first part, okay? It goes like this. And that's it for the second part. See, it's pretty easy with this pattern, okay? So one more time. Like that, and that is the second part. Yeah, and all you need to do is repeat that first and second part, alter alternating that back to back like that, okay? So what you do, do this. Breathe, please. Yeah, etc. Okay, it's pretty fun. So, really nice intro, and it also appears in the verses as well in the background. So, have fun learning that. It's a pretty awesome theme. Okay, so here we go. Let's now move on to the other section, the section two, the chorus section. Wake me up inside. Okay, that part. Okay, so here we go. Chords and melody here. So, let's start off with, um, okay. Let me see. I'm just thinking how we should break this up into. Okay, so this is what we're going to break it up to. One, two... Um, three, four, about five parts, okay? So anyways, here we go. So the first part starts on the B here. So B, 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 A, A. B, 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 A, A. That's the first part. So pretty simple. It's a motive played twice, okay? One more time. So B, 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 A, A. B, 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 A, A. That corresponds to the wake me up inside. That part, okay? So that's the right hand for the first part. Left hand, two chords for the first part. The two chords are E minor, which is E, G, B. Second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so E minor followed by G major. The two ends together goes like this. So E minor starts first, right comes in. After that, G major by itself, right comes in. Like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Here. Here. Like that. And that's the first part. Moving on to the second part, so we're doing block chords and melody first because that's the foundation of everything and then everything else later on just apply left hand accompanied patterns to it. Okay, but anyway, so yeah, second part continuing, right hand goes C, B, A, G, C, B, A, B, G, and that's the second part. One more time for the second part, for the right hand, so it goes C, B, A, G, C, B, A, B, G, and that's the, for the right hand. Left hand, two chords here, the two chords are D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And second chord is E minor again, which is E, G, B. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so D major followed by E minor, the two ends together goes like this. So D major starts first, right comes in, C and E minor together. Like that, and that is the second part. One more time, it goes like this. Here. Together. That is that for this second part, okay? So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we'll be playing like this, check it out. Like that, okay? And that's that for this second and first part, play back to back, okay? So moving on, uh, let me just see. Okay, so this third part is similar to the first part here, but a little bit different. So first of all, it starts off same, goes B, 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 A, A, and now it changes, goes G, C, B, B, A, A, like that. So it's slight different, okay? So one more time for this third part, so it goes like this. B, 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 A, A, G, C, B, B, A, A, like that. It's kind of like an ad lib kind of thing happening here. Okay, so that's the right hand there. Left hand, however, we have the exact same two chords as the first part, so as you recall, that's E minor, E, G, B, and second chord, G major, G, B, D. Okay, so these two chords in mind, so E minor and G major, the two hands together goes like this, so chord starts off first, right comes in, after that, G major by itself, right comes in, and that's the third part, one more time like this. Here. Like that, okay, so... Back to back, the three parts we've learned so far here would be play like this.
Okay, now moving on to the fourth part. Fourth part continues like this. Ryan goes C, B, A, G, C, B, A, B. Okay, that's it. That's the fourth part. One more time, it goes like this. So it goes C, B, A, G, C, B, A, B. And that's it. Yeah, that's it for the right hand. Left hand, same, I don't know, not same actually, let me see. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, same two chords as the uh, second part. So D major, D, F sharp, A, and E minor, E, G, B. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this for this fourth part. So it goes chord, right comes in, C and E minor together. And that's the fourth part. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes here, together, like that. Okay, so back to back, the four parts we just learned played like this. Check it out. just had a mental blank. <laughs> I was like, where are we up to? Okay, so that, that's that. Okay, so now moving on to the fifth and last part. Okay, we have a last part here. So right hand goes C, down to G, and then F sharp, down to D, down to E, and that's it. So five notes. Pretty calm here. One more time for this fifth part. So it goes C, down to G, F sharp, down to D, and then E, and that's it for the right hand. Okay, once you get the right hand there, left hand, three chords finishing off, the three chords are C major, C, E, G, second chord D major, D, F sharp A, and third chord E minor, E, G, B. So with these three chords in mind, so C major, D major, E minor, the two hands together goes like this, so C and C major together, F sharp and D major together, E and E minor together, just like that. One more time, it goes like this, together, together, together. That's it. Yeah, and that's it. So, um, that's it for the five parts. So what you want to do afterwards, you get all the melody and chords right for this whole second um, section. Then you can start applying uh, left hand patterns to it. So what I did in the preview, I just did like that for all of the chords. So. up to it if you want it can make it more extreme if you want it's really up to you because once you get the melody and chords then you can actually do whatever you kind of want to arrange it whatever you want but for the intro i like to keep it the way i uh well the original that's like really distinct you hear the intro and you're like oh that's that song that's the bring me back bring me to life that's the wake me up inside song so yeah learn the intro have fun for that and also learn the chorus to enjoy the awesomeness of the chorus as well but anyway that's pretty much it so check out the rest of my channel if you like these type of piano tutorials step by step i have literally multiple thousands thousands and thousands of them so do a search and see if i've done the song that you'd like to learn but anyway that's pretty much it so check out my website as well if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ER, improvise read sheet music and a lot of other stuff okay but anyway yes links in the description below is called bestpianomethod.com my website so yeah visit that afterwards okay but anyway that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.